Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. I am a little bow batten today. I love this costume, it's so beautiful. Now, these costumes were released by Her Universe. Now, it's an American company, but they do ship worldwide. I will put the link down below for you. They released them specifically for San Diego Comic Con 2019. I fell in love with them, but I couldn't get one back then because they're not cheap and unfortunately sending it to the UK cost a lot of money and it took almost a month to get here. Now don't be disheartened by that. I think it's because we are leaving the EU today in fact. Um, this was filmed on Friday the 31st of January. So the, today is the last day of us being in the EU. Sorry to be a bit boring, but unfortunately I think that might have been why my dress was held in customs for so long. But it finally arrived yesterday. I absolutely love it. The hat does not come from her universe. Now the hat was made by, I'm going to try this now, Zavitz Felt. I have no idea. Um, I apologize, Zavita, if I got your name, if I got the name of the company wrong, I am dyslexic as you know. Um, but I will put the link down below for you to their company. This was handmade, I think it's um, cashmere. It's absolutely beautiful. The color is gorgeous. The fit is perfect. But the dress shocked me the most. Now I've bought quite a few items from America. And uh, unfortunately the, the sizes have been a bit all over the place. But I checked the size list out. I put in what I thought I was. This is an XL. It fits me like a glove. It is absolutely incredible. I love this costume. Now, I didn't do this video to talk to you about the bow battens. I'm doing this video for Noble Collection, but I wanted to mention how beautiful this costume is. I bought this costume because I am doing, I'm hosting a book event next weekend. So I wanted to dress up as a bow batten because it's so beautiful. And again, it's blue. You know me, I love my blue. I love my blue, okay? <laughs> if you guys haven't seen, I love my blue. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is why I have got one of these costumes. And because I'm now blonde, it just fits perfect. I love it. Anyway, today's video is all about the past, present and future of Noble Collection. Now I have a few items in this that are not Noble Collection, but you will understand why when I show you. This video may be in two parts because there is a lot to talk about. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> Sorry, I keep looking at, <laughs> looking at this costume. It's so pretty. I love the hat. Anyway, <laughs> I am so bad. Right, I have got so much to show you have no idea. I have done a lot of research about items that Noble Collection have done in the past and also items that they are, that I think possibly might be discontinued soon and a couple little spoilers. Shh. Anyway, I'm going to get started, I think, with a couple of items that I think Possibly they have discontinued already or, or are going to discontinue soon. Now, one of the items is right in front of me, does not match my dress in any way, shape or form, but it's important to show you. I also mentioned in my last video that I will be talking to you about little tricks of the trade and how to find items you're looking for. So bear with me, that will be coming. Now, the first item I'm going to talk about is the Slughorn's Hourglass by Noble Collection. Now this came out, I'd say about four years ago, possibly, I could be wrong, but it's about four years ago. It is a stunning replica of the one seen in the film. The only difference being is the sand in the film looks like it has been bleached by the sun. It's much lighter. So this is obviously the new version where Slughorn would have received it. I think he had it as a gift, um, but I can't remember who by. But this is a stunning, stunning, stunning item. I love it. As soon as I found out it was coming, it was on the front of a Noble Collection magazine and I think the whole Harry Potter world just gasped at the time when we found out it was coming because this is stunning and of course it is the snakes, it is representation of Slytherin because Slughorn used to be the head of Slytherin house. It is a gorgeous piece. It ranges between £120 and £130 to buy. It is still available today but you do have to put your name down on a waiting list to receive it. Also in this video I will be showing you what was in this box. Now I posted a picture of my YouTube channel, didn't I? 
teasing you guys and you guys have made guesses um but nobody has it right yet someone was almost right but not quite but this is going to be shown to you afterwards now another item that is still available today from Noble Collection is the incredible replica of the Hogwarts castle and I've covered this before but it is still impressive. I think it's around £350 now to buy and they are still available but I've got to be honest I don't know how much longer for. Um, when these are gone they are going to go up in value ridiculously quick but it is gorgeous. They come on a wooden base. The castle does come off, but I'm not gonna take it off because I've got one hand on it and I'm a bit nervous about it. But it is, I'm gonna put my thumb on the other side so it doesn't tip. It is an incredible replica of Hogwarts. It is one of the best I have ever seen. Now this castle, this one specifically, this isn't the first castle to have been released. The first one that was released was for a DVD box set. Now, for the box set, I think it was a DVD um, films one to four, so from Philosopher's Stone to Goblet of Fire, and underneath it had a little drawer, and as you pulled it out here, it had the films inside. But it had this exact castle on the top, but it co was covered by a plastic dope, a plastic perspex dome, and it was just beautiful exactly the same as this but they are slightly more valuable because one they're no longer available and two it was because it was a box set which always puts the value up a little bit but this if you can get one this is just an incredible keeps keepsake and something that will increase in value let's face it noble collection items just go up in value as soon as they're discontinued everybody suddenly starts wanting them and one of the items is a replica of something that they used to have now this is a tri wizard tournament um, replica of the four dragons from the first task in Goblet of Fire. You recognise you've got the Chinese Firebolt, the Swedish Short Snout, the Welsh Green and the Hungarian Horntail. They're all coming out of the Ministry of Magic bag you can just about see just here. Now in the beginning, quite a few years ago, this was released by Noble Collection before but it was in bronze or it looked like it was in bronze with a wooden base now those apparently can be up to can be valued up to about 900 pound this however is still available today you can still buy it and i think it might be available for quite a while yet but it is such a pretty piece and of course you've got the all important harry potter underneath there but it's so beautiful the bronze one is lovely but i do prefer this one because the colors are so vibrant it's so colorful when i first bought it i, I looking at the colors i thought it was made of like a plastic because it's so colorful but it's not made of plastic it is absolutely beautiful and it's solid as well it is an absolutely beautiful piece another piece that i think would be so lovely to get these can range from between 70 to 90 pound they used to be over 100 pound but they've dropped in value dramatically over the last year or two so i've got a couple of books to show you that are incredibly important to collectors out there so if you're a serious collector then i definitely recommend you get them and i think there's somebody bringing them in for me now yes housekeeping <sighs> I should have a fan, shouldn't I go? <laughs> Look away. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Fruit Merch now. This is my YouTube channel, not somebody else's. <laughs> Thank you. Bugger. Okay, so the two books that I highly recommend you get. The, this one is more for the items that were first released years ago in the early 2000s. This is Harry Potter Collectibles. This is about 15 years old, this book, possibly a bit older again. No, actually I think this book is almost 20 years old. A lot of the photographs in here of items are the um, production drawings. So it's quite interesting to see how they turned out. And then this one... This one contains a lot of Noble Collection items, but this is my holy grail of collecting. This is the Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter Collector's Handbook and is available on Amazon. It's a book that's discontinued, but there's still copies that you can get secondhand. It is so good. But remember, this book is 10 years old, so it is very, very old book. A lot of the prices, sorry, a lot of the values in there are wrong. So maybe double them or triple them when you see them. 
but some of the items in here are even items that were released in the premieres or given out in premieres so it's very exciting definitely worth getting that book now one of the items that are mentioned in the collector's handbook is this Hedwig in a Cage by Noble Collection. Now I think this might be discontinued now, I'm not 100% sure. Some shops still stock it, but I know that I haven't seen it on the website for a while. I will have a look after I do this video. Now it is a gorgeous, gorgeous one of Hedwig in his cage. You can see there, he's so beautiful. And then the stand has got some stunning detail the Hogwarts crests on the bottom. It is absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely. Now again, I got this just because I wanted to give my friends some business. I wasn't that fussed on it, but once I bought it and brought it home, I actually kind of fell in love with it. And it wasn't as expensive as it, as it is now back then, but it's a really lovely piece and I love the top. You've got some sort of gargoyle there holding, it's a tongue and he's got Hedwig then by his tongue. I think I could hold the head by that head, that'd be a bit hard, bit hard, wouldn't it? Now seeing as we are on the topic of replicas or, you know, well, almost replicas, Noble Collection. I think this item is still available. Again, similar to Hedwig's Cage. I don't know if it is still available online. I think it might be, but I don't know how long for. Now this is what my husband calls the glorified soap dish. Um, it is the shell that they use to drink the potion in the cave when Harry and Dumbledore retrieve the locket. And of course, Harry tries to use this Aguamenti spell to get the water out of the bowl, but unfortunately it has a spell put on it so he could only use it to drink the potion out of, which is quite sad. I hate that scene. I always fast forward that scene. It's such an awful disturbing scene. It's so well done. And uh, Michael Gambon is incredible in that. Then again, Daniel Radcliffe is incredible as well. But this is a beautiful replica of the shell that they use. It is made of resin, again, by Noble Collection. It is valued between 35 and 45 pound. I, I wasn't too fussed on it at first, but now I've got it. I'm really glad I have. I display it in my cabinet with the locket hanging out of it. So it looks really lovely in the cabinet. Another item that suits my costume <laughs> is the Tri-Wizard Cup. Now, of course, Fleur Delacour didn't quite get there, did she? It was Cedric Diggory and Harry Potter who got it at the time, and it turned out to be a porky to the Riddle family grave. Such a scary scene that, of course, Cedric, we lose Cedric in that awful fight. Anyway, this is a Tri-Wizard Cup replica. It is solid metal, and it's very, very heavy. Now, there are rumors that they, they're either, they've either discontinued these or they are going to discontinue them. I have seen on a couple of websites that there is talk that they are coming to an end, if not already. These are valued between 100 to 120 pound. Sometimes though, I think once they're discontinued, their value is gonna go up really, really, really dramatically because they are such a beautiful, iconic piece in the Harry Potter world. But this is so beautifully made and it comes with a beautiful wooden stand as well for you to display your piece on like this. It is so beautiful. I actually had this as a gift from the two broomsticks and I, I, I just absolutely love it. I told them that I'd love to have one and they sent it to me in a box. So thank you so much for that, Sam. I love it. I love the dragons at the top. It's such a gorgeous piece. Now there's another piece that I bought from the Warner Brothers studio tour in London. I was the last person to get the stock that they had at the time. Now I bought this about two years ago. It is, as you've seen on my videos, the mirror of Eris said there, isn't that beautiful? This is a noble collection replica and it is so, so well made. You can see the state of my table in front. It's very dusty at the moment, but it looks more authentic if it's dusty. But how beautiful is this? Absolutely, it's just so weird seeing me there. Lots of times, look at that. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. I have actually got like um, padded foam on there so it didn't damage my desk when I displayed it. It's got Noble Collection Harry Potter under there as well. You can actually hang these up on your wall too, but I love it. The only thing about the Mirror of Eris set is, sorry, Mirror of Eris said, in London, in London, in America, have you heard of Pottery Barn? Um, obviously, there's a lot of my audience are from America, so hello over there. Um, you have the company called Pottery Barn, and they do the Mirror of Erised as a jewellery cabinet. 
I would kill for that jewelry cabinet. $350, I think that is very, very well worth the money, but they won't ship to the UK. It's fair enough, it is fair enough. Hopefully with, the, with us leaving the EU, the laws will change on posting things. So hopefully, because I know that they said it was because of the EU laws they couldn't post over here. So with a bit of like that will soon change. There is another item that I have that I'm not sure if they still do it. I'm pretty sure they've stopped doing them. Um, I'm not 100% sure either that it's Noble Collection. I've, I think it is, but I've got to be honest, I literally just picked this up because I saw it in my cabinet and thought, oh, I must mention that, so I haven't had time to search it. This is a limited edition Time Turner necklace. It is in a really, really, really pretty box. This was gifted to me by Retro Styler. They wanted me to do a review on it. And I've got to be honest, I wasn't that fussed um, because of the actual box, because this is very loose. But when you display it, it's just beautiful. So I do really like this. And I'm so glad it's in my collection, especially if it's been discontinued. At the bottom, it says The Time Turner. Harry Potter, Warner Brothers, blah, 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 made in China. Um, and then on the top, it says, I make the hours every one. Uh, nor have I yet returned the sun. So I don't get that. I think that's what's written on the time turner, is it? But I don't get it. Now, apparently the difference between this one and the Noble Collection normal one that comes in its display case is this one is accurate to the one in the film, the size and everything. It's not the easiest to get out. These were about 55 pound to buy. I don't think they're gonna raise in value too much because they're not much difference between this one and the one you can still buy from Noble Collection. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at the colour of that to my dress. Oh my god, that actually looks so nice. I've, I've got a gorgeous silver time turner I have from the carrot shop. I love time turners. They are so pretty. That goes so well with the blue. Sorry. I'm like this. Oh, that's really, look at that. Really, with my hair. Oh, it's nice. Anyway. <laughs> Back on topic, Victoria, is it because I'm as a bow baton and I love it, it's so pretty and it's so blue and it's amazing and anything. Um, right, okay, so back on topic, right? These were about £55 to buy when they came out. Whether or not they are discontinued, I do not know. And yes, the writing is the same as around the time turner, I can see it here. But it is so gorgeous. Look at that. I love that. Have I gone back in time yet? Can I go and stop Harry from being a bugger this morning because he wouldn't find his uniform to get ready for school? How does one child, right, how does a nine-year-old child get given so much new uniform and lose all but three pieces? How? He's now got to go through lost property in school. How does he lose trousers? When does he take them off? Bum PE. How does he lose trousers? <laughs> this morning was hell absolutely hell his room is a tip because it's just trying to find everything but he's got no uniform in there he's got no trousers he's got no he's got one jumper or two jumpers he's got one or two t-shirts no trousers and yet he has so many new ones i'm sure he's eating them i know you guys miss harry as well don't you he does he does really want to come in a video so i'm going to try and sort one out for him okay back on topic yet again this is definitely going to be in two parts now Items that are still available, I think, but are going to be gone soon. We have, oh, I love this necklace. We have the stunning golden egg or golden dragon egg from the Goblet of Fire. Now all the jewelry by Noble Collection, sorry, majority of the jewelry by Noble Collection comes in a stunning display case like that. I'm gonna show you a couple more pieces as well. But this is the golden dragon egg. And if you twist it, this one, does open how about that how gorgeous is that i love the markings on it it isn't the easiest to put back together you do have to really like gently fiddle but it does go back together after a while i love the golden egg i couldn't wait to get this another item that's getting even harder to get hold of is what's in this box now this was also gifted to me by the two broomsticks they love me the two broomsticks sam you are just a, a diamond now, you, if, if the people who know what's in this box, who recognize this box will know what's in it. I think there's, there's actually one of two items that could be in this box, but this is gorgeous. It is the Philosopher's 
stone on a silver, sorry, a gold plated chain. I love this necklace. When I had it, I could not wait to put it on. I love the box because the box is made of wood. It's gorgeous. Now, as you can see, this is the Philosopher's Stone from look, the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It is made of cut glass on a gold plated chain but it's so so beautiful but there are again big rumors that this is also being discontinued if not already maybe they're only selling what's left stock wise but i would definitely if you can get one of these i think they're 49 pound to buy new or around that price if i can find any of these items available online I will put all the links down below for you. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and also so you don't miss any more of my videos, hit the notification bell as well. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, invite your friends and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section what did you think of this video? What would you like me to cover? Until then, thank you so much. Take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.